you go, mate. Right, something a little bit different. Oh, something different. Yeah. Something. Apparently a roof tile went through there. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Off the roof, bang, straight through there. Oh dear. Don't matter, does it? Put a bit in there easy enough, can't you? Now, in my opinion, the most elegant car ever produced, forget the Ferraris, Lamborghinis, like rubbish. The most <laughs> elegant car ever produced was a DB4 Aston Martin Zagata. Oh, man. Just to die for. This is the equivalent Lancia. Aston Martin, bigger, beefier. Got the edge on it, to be fair, but it's still Zagato. Now, the, the same styling firm obviously styled the two cars, naturally, which is why they're pretty identical, really. This, I think, is just fantastic, this car. I just think it's absolutely fantastic. If there's a car that I've seen in the last 10 years, for argument's sake, I'll double that, in the last 20 years, that's worth spending 10 grand and more on, this is it. You think about it, a lovely mint one of these, 25 grand. This is probably gonna make 10 grand. So spend 10 grand on it, you got a 20 grand, it owes you 20 grand, 25 grand car. Spend 15 grand on it, you got a 25 grand car owing you 25. Spend 20 grand on it, and you've got a 25 grand car owing you 30 grand. That is good business. When you think about the classic movement, that is good business. Generally speaking, you're buying something for 10 grand, you're spending 20 grand on it, which totals up to 30 grand, and it's actually worth 15 grand at the end of the day. This actually stacks up. It actually stacks up. And you're gonna wind up with the most elegant car that looks as though it's doing 100 mile an hour stood still. Just an absolute true classic. So in my opinion, get it bought. You cannot go wrong. You might not make anything, you, well, chances are you won't make anything, but you won't lose a lot. And you've got the most fabulous car, right hand drive. Mm. Big thing, yeah. right hand drive. Uh, it's just a phenomenal car. We know it's gonna want a low spec on it, we know. So let's say, let's go to worst scenario, and let's say you're gonna spend 20 grand. If, if, you're, if you're not prepared, if you do it yourself, I mean, different thing altogether, obviously, isn't it? But if you have to put it out, be prepared then 20 grand expenditure. But 20 grand, the, the best 20 grand spent on a classic that I can think of for at least 10 years. And I mean that. Mm. Good.